Hello, uh, quick review of this, the Dyson Purify Hot and Cool. Uh, I bought the Dyson Purify Cool a few weeks ago, but I ended up sending it back because I thought, uh, well, I felt a bit bad spending £500 on something that you only really need a few weeks of the year. Plus, as a fan, it wasn't really that good. Um, £500, if you bought a £50 fan, uh, the Purify Cool wouldn't be ten times better than it. I mean, in a lot of ways, it's not as good. It's, it's pretty noisy and you really have to turn it up to ten to... To really feel it from a couple of meters away so instead i've got this uh, the hot and cool because this one can warm you up in the winter as well as cool you in the summer um the reason i got it is oh i just really like it looks really good and the purifier is, is nice as well there's a little photo of the purifier so um hopefully this will warm me up nicely, and uh, pure, as well as purify the room, and then be a fan as well. So, let's see. So here it is out of the box. Let's have a look. Um, one thing I've noticed, it seems shorter than the Purify Cool. I think. I'm not imagining it, I'm sure. I'll have to double check, um, which is a bit disappointing. It looks quite short. Although I might be imagining it. I'm going to have to check that and um, compare the specs when it comes to the height. Uh, let's see what comes with the box. In the box, I should say. So you've got the filters. So they just go inside the base. And you've got the remote. Uh, this is the remote. Let's just get it out. It's a bit cheap looking, I think, from the top and bottom. It feels all right, a bit light maybe. Uh, power, info, let's try and get that in focus. Fan speed, heat. So that's the main difference between this one and the, uh, the cool one. It didn't have the heat adjusters and the cool button because obviously it just cooled. Uh, oscillation, timer, sleep mode, which just dims the screen. Dims that. Um, this changes the mode, so instead of blowing, it will um, it will like disperse it out the side. So that's if you want to purify but not have any cooling mechanism. And auto, so auto, stick it in auto and it monitors the uh, pollution levels and just adjusts the fan according to that. So if, it's, if, if there's a lot of pollution, then it will stick the fan right up. If there's not much, it will put it right down. So here it's plugged in. I've just checked on the website. And it is shorter. This is about 76 centimetres tall, and the, the cool is 105. So it's quite a bit shorter. But apparently, the airflow is the same. We'll see. Let's turn it on. So that's at 10. And there's a readout of the current temperature in this room. Air quality readout is good. Where's the remote from? Right, let's put it, take it off heat. At the moment it's heating and it's really hot. Let's put it on cool and turn it. Turn it down so you can actually hear me. Right, so that's supposed to be on um, cool, but it's actually still putting out hot air, so maybe that's not right. Let's try that again. Press the blue button. Do you have, no, do you have to hold it down? I mean, it's showing there that it is, but it's putting out warm air. Strange. Maybe it takes a little while to adjust. Let's go through the other buttons. Auto. So now it's adjusting the fan speed depending on uh, the amount of pollution in the room. Let's take it off auto just so it's not loud. Oscillation. Let's put it on there so you can cycle through different 45, 90 different uh, degrees all round to 350 so it can go right round if it's in the middle of a room. Let's leave it on 45 and see if that just starts. There it goes. Night mode. You should see that yeah, the screen dims a bit so it doesn't... I can't really tell that much here but... It dims the screen a bit so you can have it in the bedroom at night and it won't wind you up. So now it's putting out cool air. So it obviously takes a bit of time to adjust from hot to cool. Um, info button. 
So that cycles through pollution levels, PM10, VOCs, NO2, temperature, humidity, filter, so it tells you the percentage of the filter, fan speed, and just the air quality in general. Right, let's have a look at the, uh, the app. So here we are in the app, um, app machine. We found these Dyson machines. So it's found one already. I don't know how it does that. Maybe Bluetooth. Tap it. Hold your device next to your machine's display. Now press the power button on your machine. So it's doing a pairing as well. It must be over Bluetooth, I assume. Maybe. Well, no, it's not NFC. I don't think. Pairing. It's a lovely pairing process. Machine paired. Right. Yeah, connected to my Wi-Fi. Pop in my password. Confirm connection. This will take a moment. While we connect, you can learn how the app, blah, 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 blah. Let's have a look. Total control. So basically everything on the remote you can do from here. Probably a bit more. Intelligent sensors, yes. Convenient heating. Oh, didn't even get a chance to read it. Oh, here we go. Convenient heating, yeah. I mean, the first thing I noticed from the heater is it was... It was hot. It blew out a lot of heat, so that will be good in the winter. Where is your machine? It's in the living room. When? Yesterday? Next day delivery, that was pretty good. Finally, before we get started, blah, blah, blah. So you swipe down. So yeah, swipe down and you can see what it's like outside your house. Swipe up and you can see what it's like inside your house. Obviously, no data there at the moment. I was wondering if it had data from the old machine, but no, it doesn't seem to. It's not linked to your account. It must just be linked to the actual product. So this will take a few hours, I imagine, to uh, populate. So you've got the cool button here. What do you have to do with that to change it? I'm tapping it, but nothing's happening. Maybe that's just an indicator. So you click on the remote button, cooling, heating. So you tap that, swipe up and down. Oh yeah, it gets warm very quick. Heating is a lot louder than cooling. I guess because, um, well, I don't know why. I mean, this. Turn a fan off. Put it on even on one. Um, oh, it's not. That's strange. It's not. Oh, it is. Here we go. So the fan does come up quite loud on one. Not too bad, but considering it's only on one, it's it's pretty loud. But I guess that, I think for heating, you only need to leave it on one. It's pushing it out quite far. And yeah. Oh no, it's kicking it up even louder now even though it's still on one. Very strange. If I, if I put the heating down, then it kick the fan speed down quite a lot. Hmm. Anyway, it's too hot to use heating now. Let's put it back in cooling mode. Let's see what else the app can do. So this is the fan speed. This would be the heating speed so if you are oh right so if you change the temperature on here it flicks it straight to heating and then you press here to go back to cooling this is where you set the oscillation and you can actually tell it where to oscillate from so you say from that direction 45 degrees so you get a bit more control over the oscillation when you're in the app turn off the on or off the night mode add a timer Flow direction is if you don't want it pumping out the front. So if it's you want the uh, the purifier to purify, but you don't want the fan to hit you, so you, you turn that off and it comes out the sides, like it disperses it out and down. I imagine. Ah, uh, before I go, uh, yeah, I've just seen on Google Home it's popped up that it's found it here. So Google Assistant. Um, integration is relatively new. It used to just be Siri and Alexa for a long while, but it looks like they've um, 
they've added it uh, to a home in the living room so now it's there so we should see it here and it's the trouble is because I've called it living room well, I've said it's in the living room it's called living room might need to change that oh no hang on a minute that's the thermostat so the fan is here Odd icon for a fan. Um, what are the settings? It's not giving us any not giving us any ways to control it except for on off. I'm sure we've got more controls than that last time. I have a feeling the um, the fan might need a firmware update. Let's see if it actually works. Hey Google. Sure. Turning off the living room. Mm, yeah, so that worked. So it does have all the all the voice controls. That's good to know. Right, any questions? Let me know.